high in Chile's Andes Mountains, nearly 2,700 meters above sea level. The night sky stretches in every direction, clearer and darker than almost anywhere else on Earth. Here, far from city lights and the haze of the atmosphere, stars blaze with unimaginable brilliance, and the universe reveals itself in ways impossible elsewhere. It is in this remote, elevated landscape that one of humanity's most powerful eyes on the cosmos has been built, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory. Vera Rubin's Legacy The observatory is named after a woman whose work reshaped modern science, Vera Cooper Rubin. In the 1970s, Rubin was studying the motion of galaxies. What she found was shocking. Galaxies were spinning far too fast for the visible matter they contained. According to the laws of physics, they should have flown apart. Something invisible had to be holding them together. A hidden mass that didn't emit or reflect light. Rubin's groundbreaking research confirmed the existence of what we now call dark matter. This invisible substance makes up most of the matter in the universe yet we cannot see it directly. It neither shines nor glows, but its gravitational pull shapes galaxies, bends light from distant stars, and sculpts the universe on the largest scales. Without dark matter, galaxies as we know them could not exist. Rubin's work was revolutionary, opening the door to modern cosmology and forever changing the way we think about the universe. She also broke barriers as a pioneering woman in astronomy, inspiring generations of scientists who followed. The telescope's power. The Rubin Observatory is not just large, it is an engineering masterpiece. Its 8.4 meter mirror is among the largest ever constructed, capable of gathering an extraordinary amount of light from the night sky. But the true revolution lies in its 3.2 gigapixel digital camera the largest ever built for astronomy. To understand its power, imagine being able to see a golf ball lying on the surface of the moon, nearly 400,000 kilometers away. That is the level of precision this camera provides. Over the next 10 years, the telescope will conduct an unprecedented survey of the sky. Every three nights, it will scan the entire visible sky from its location in Chile's Andes Mountains. The result will be a cosmic time-lapse, capturing billions of stars, galaxies, and celestial events in motion. Instead of a single snapshot, humanity will gain a living, evolving diary of the universe. We will see stars being born and dying, galaxies colliding, asteroids racing through space, and perhaps even the first signals of new, unknown phenomena. This is more than a telescope. It is a machine for rewriting the story of the cosmos. Energy. The greatest mystery, but perhaps the most ambitious goal of the Rubin Observatory is to help solve the greatest mystery in science today. Dark energy. In the late 1990s, astronomers discovered something astonishing. Instead of slowing down, the expansion of the universe was accelerating. Space itself was stretching faster and faster, as if pushed by an invisible force. Today, we know that nearly 70% of the universe is made of this mysterious phenomenon, which we call dark energy. Yet we know almost nothing about it. What is it? Why does it exist? And what does it mean for the future of the cosmos? Will the universe expand forever, tearing galaxies apart in a big rip? Or will this energy change, leading to an entirely different fate? By observing billions of galaxies across billions of years of cosmic history, the Rubin Observatory will give scientists the data they need to test these theories. It may bring us closer to understanding not only how the universe works, but why it is the way it is. The Rubin Observatory is not only about distant galaxies and abstract mysteries, it is also a guardian for our own world. While scanning the skies, it will track asteroids and comets that could one day threaten Earth. Early detection is critical for planetary defense, 
and Rubens' sweeping, detailed surveys will make us safer by providing warning of potential hazards. Even more importantly, the observatory's data will be open to everyone. Unlike many scientific projects where results are locked behind closed doors, Rubens' mission is built on the principle of open science. Its maps, images, and discoveries will be available to researchers, educators, and ordinary citizens across the world. Science will not be the privilege of a select few. It will be the shared heritage of all humanity. Anyone with curiosity and a computer will be able to explore the stars. A decade of discovery. For the next decade, the Rubin Observatory will scan the heavens relentlessly. It will study dark matter, dark energy, the birth and death of stars, the shifting dance of galaxies, and countless objects in between. Some of the greatest discoveries of our time may come from this telescope. Perhaps we will find entirely new classes of cosmic phenomena, signals from the early universe, or answers to questions we have not even thought to ask. As Vera Rubin herself once said, the universe will continue to surprise us. Her words are not just a reminder of scientific humility, they are a promise. With this telescope, we are preparing to witness those surprises, to face the unknown with open eyes. We are entering a new era, one where humanity will have the clearest view of the universe it has ever possessed. The Rubin Observatory is more than a machine. It is a bridge between what we know and what we have yet to discover. It is a reminder that the universe is vast, mysterious, and alive with wonders we are only beginning to grasp. If you want to continue exploring the secrets of the cosmos with us, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share your questions, your thoughts, and your sense of wonder in the comments. Together, let us embark on this journey into the infinite night, where every star is a story, and every discovery brings us closer to understanding the greatest mystery of all, the universe itself.